Dear students, welcome to you all for this second session of the subject Executive Development and Soft Skills of third semester of BBO of Mangalore University. The topic that we are going to discuss in this session number two is uh, determinants of interpersonal skills. Learning objective is uh, to determine, uh, find out the determinants of or the factors affecting uh, interpersonal skills. And the course outcome, the uh, session outcome is like are able to understand what are the factors which will be having an impact on the interpersonal skills and uh, how you can improve the interpersonal skills of you. Determination of interpersonal skills or the determinants. The first one is compatibility. Compatibility, the two individuals in a relationship must be compatible with each other. There should be no scope for conflicts and misunderstanding in the relationship. Individuals uh, from similar backgrounds and similar goals in the life do extremely well in relationship. People with different aims, attitudes, thoughts, process find it very difficult to adjust and hence fail to carry the relationship to the next level. This would be very commonly found between the pairs like the two the lovers. If uh, there is a misunderstanding like the views and uh, opinion of uh, two individuals to the boy and girl if it is different definitely that relationship is not going to continue for a long period communication that is the next important determinant of uh, interpersonal skill communication plays a pivotal role or important role in all types of relationship whether it is personal or professional feelings must be expressed and reciprocated in uh, reciprocated in relationship individuals need to communicate with each other effectively for better understand in the professional relationship as well colleagues must communicate well for a better bonding sit with your co-workers and discuss issues face to face to reach to a mutually acceptable solution the next one is be honest so be honest in your relationship do not lie or hide things from your partner next one is stay calm do not overreact on petty things in relationship and take stay calm and be a little more adjusting and say sorry wherever required it will solve half of your problems forgiving an individual need to be a little more forgiving in relationship do not drag issues unnecessarily fighting over a small issue is foolish and makes the situation all the worse Smile, as we say, smile is a curve that makes everything straight. Flash your smile more often, it works. Take care of your facial expression while interacting with other person. Time, time plays an important role in a relationship. Individuals in love must spend adequate time to know each other better. Frustrations arises when people do not have time to meet or interact with each other even in organization individuals must spend quality time with their co-workers to strengthen the bond among themselves how to improve in interpersonal skills first one is develop planning so develop a smart objective the first step is like uh, the first way is to planning develop a specific measurable action oriented and realistic as well as time bounded goals or objectives then second one is research do research research various networking groups and associations to find out which one would be a better suitable to you research your contacts by asking them questions so you will know with whom you are dealing research every possible opportunity Keep your eyes and ears on the news, current events, and the local, uh, you know, discussions or local issues. Self promotion. Promote yourself effectively. Understand your features and benefits. That is your strengths and how to use them, and learn how to express them. That is smile or by ask inform uh, in information. Then communications. Communicate effectively. Good communications are invaluable in any situation. Use language with which you are comfortable, but make sure that it is powerful and make sure that the other person is able to understand the language what 
you are used what you are using don't forget the other side of communicating that is listening and that's very very important in any kind of communication think creatively solve problems and maximize opportunities with innovative ideas follow through follow through on your commitments both to yourself and to others what you have said do you have to do it organizations organization yourself so be systematic and that's one of the very important requirement of good interpersonal skills teamwork work hard for others and rewards will come back to you over time okay so now that's very important so you have that when when you are working in a team like make sure that you are a uh, co-workers are also very important so prioritize each one of them cultivate a positive outlook teach yourself to be positive by reminding yourself every day of the good things about your life and your job if you are upset about personal matter set these feelings aside until after work if you are stressed about work issue look for the positive in the situation and try to build on that control your opinion emotions work is not the place to be uh, overly emotional whether you are extremely irritated severely depressed or uh, ecstatically uh, happy uh, take a deep breath and tone your emotions down always express yourself in a calm patient manner acknowledge others expertise one of the best ways to build trust at work is to let your coworker know you are, you appreciate their expertise ask for their help on projects and give credits where credit is due then show a real interest in your colleagues when you interact with your colleague when you in work with your colleague show that you are really interested in what they are doing and you are really interested in their personal life too so that this kind of uh, you know your interest with them makes them to become very closer to you find one good trait in every worker try to find out the best in every uh, best trait in every worker this is one of the best way of uh, maintaining a very good relationship with all your individuals and immediately after finding the best trait it has to be appreciated or it has to be encouraged then practice active listening you can do this by maintaining eye contact with the speaker nodding your head and repeating what he or she says in your own words the speaker will feel respected and you will likely to be able to recall the conversation more easily afterwards be assertive it is important to be assertive Uh, be confident in your ability and opinions and don't be afraid to express your needs as well as your limits so this uh, and uh, next one is uh, practice empathy gain a well rounded view think of things by putting yourself in other people's shoes this will help you develop empathy for others which in turn goes a long way in finding solutions that work for all involved in the sense you have to think from others point of view so that uh, all their problems becomes problems of yours and you start searching for the solutions and you why that way you are going to solve the problems your friends or your colleagues maintain your relationship connect with the college friends and former colleagues uh, on social media or through email and try to set up face to face meeting now and then this shows your connections that you still value their relationship and that can go a long way in helping you advance your career thank you